We're now going to have a look at some database functions. Database functions are just normal functions, but they are designed to work on a list of data, a continuous list of data. The functions perform calculations, but those calculations have to meet the selection conditions defined in a criteria range. So rather like the sum if and count if, I've got to meet the if part. These functions, we can set up variable uh, criteria for it to meet. Functions we'll look at are dsum, dmin, dmax, dcount, and dAverage. And as you might imagine, that's going to add things up. That's going to find the lowest value, the highest value, the number, and the average value. But all those are just like the normal sum, min, max functions, but because the D is in front, they work on a list with certain criteria. OK, first of all, we need to define an area of our spreadsheet to act as a criteria range. Now, most people use the area above the list here. It doesn't need to be here. It can be anywhere. But for simplicity, it's easy to put it at the top. Of your list. So all you need to do is copy your uh, labels for your data into a blank area of the spreadsheet. This is setting up a criteria range. You don't have to use all the labels. It just depends what kind of um, criteria you are setting up. If you know you'll only ever search on age, for example, then you could just have age there and you wouldn't need these other functions. Likewise, town doesn't have to be above town. This can be anywhere in the spreadsheet. OK, I want to find out some additions. So I'm going to use the D sum. And in this cell here, we're going to use the D sum function. Open our brackets and we get our useful screen tips. You could use insert function. I like to type things in. It allows me to talk as I'm doing it. OK. First off, I've said it works on lists and it does and that's how it's defined but the list is also called a database. Where is the data? So the first argument of this DSUM is where is the data? So we simply Select the data range. Any bits I'll go too far. Of course, I should have looked up that range before I started, shouldn't I? A5 to E225. OK, so that's the whole range of cell, including the titles. Comma. That was our first argument. The second argument is field. Which field? Do we want to be adding up to calculate? And in this instance, I'm going to add up the people's ages. I want to know the combined age. So I'm going to be using age. So I can put D5 there. I could also type age in quotation marks. So I could do age. But D5 is a better way to do that. What is the criteria we're going to use? Now, I'm not going to type the criteria in. I'm going to say this area here is my criteria range. A1 to E2. So that the function, when it's looking for the criteria, will refer to these cells. OK, finish the function off. Press the Enter key. And the total sum of all those, because we haven't set a criteria, the total sum for the ages is uh, is that number. Let's just confirm that. If I just select to the bottom and put an auto sum in, oops, there's already one there, we can see the same figure. D sum. But why a D sum? Why not an ordinary sum? Well, because of this. 
I can now go to my criteria range and add some criteria in. So for example, if I only want to know the combined age of all the men, I could put an M in the sex field, and that's the combined age of all the men. If I want to know the combined age of all the men who live in Newcastle, I can also add that in. 1259. So you can see D sum is picking up this criteria range and applying it to the calculation. I can also say what is the combined age of men who are over 50. You can add more criteria in there. So if I add age in there as well as a title, and then say I want to find out all the men who are over 50, uh, let better have a look at my data, yep, um, and less than 60. Okay, nothing's happened yet because in this function, remember my criteria range was A1 to E2. So I need to change that to incorporate the F as well. So we'll make that A1 to F2. It's now picking up this cell as well in our criteria range. So what that is telling me the combined age of all the men over 50 but less than 60 is 866. If I do the same in um, Durham, 159. That's the D sum. The rest work in exactly the same way. So equals D min, open brackets, where's our database? It's that cell range, comma, which field do we want to use? The age, where's the criteria? Finish off the function. The minimum age of men who are over 50 but less than 60 in Durham is 52. Let's try the maximum. Equals D max. Open the brackets. The cell range for the database. It's that whole selection there, including the titles. Comma. Want to add up the field for age. Where's my criteria? There. Finish off the function. The maximum age for all the men who are over 50 living in Durham and less than 60 is 55. Let's count how many people meet that criteria. So again, exactly the same format, put in the cell range for your database, which column you want to use, where's the criteria range. Finish off the function. There are three people living in Durham who are male who are between the ages of 50 and 60. Let's find out their average age. Exactly the same format. There's the cell range we're working with. Want to work on the age column. Where's my criteria? Finish it off. The average age of those people is 53. Now the beauty of all those is that we can at any time go and change these numbers. And of course, our calculations uh, reflect that. Find all the females in Durham. Found all the females everywhere. Okay. So that is these database functions. We've looked at adding, minimum, maximum, count, and average. They do what the name suggests, except they work on a database or list. And we have a criteria range set up and we can modify our criteria in that fashion.